Hey, um, I hope everyone is doing well in spite of the world's current circumstances. I hope that we're all still focused on whatever intentions, whatever goals, whatever vision you came into the year with. I hope that we can still focus on that. Um, it's something I have to remind myself of as well, especially now because it's just some days I feel like I'm doing a lot. Some days I don't feel like I'm doing enough. It just depends on the day. So telling you as well as myself, don't be so hard on yourself. I know I am my worst critic and hopefully we can just try to regain some focus. I know I've had to do it a million times. I've had to rewrite the vision. I've had to just realign and reevaluate and it's only May. So I'm just, I'm waiting for everything just to fall into place. If we use this time to prepare, if we stay ready, we don't have to get ready. So I am trying to be mindful of my time. I'm trying to be aware because I can waste time like no other. So I'm trying to utilize my time in the best way. Um, I know time is relative and what seems like a lot to someone is a little to someone else. And it's similar to how we view money, how we view wealth, and what's a lot to someone is a little to someone else. We're all born with different financial means based on our circumstances we enter the world with, our parents or whoever's home you're, in, you're coming into. We're all, the one thing we all have in common though is that we are all given the same amount of time. Every person gets the same 86,400 seconds in their day. Time is valuable, time is a commodity, Time should be utilized as currency because it is. If we all have different circumstances and those circumstances vary, if you're born into something where you don't have to work for anything, everything is ready and available, even when it doesn't belong to you, you know if you want it, you can have it. Money is going to add to whatever sense of privilege that there is and you'll probably wind up being an entitled, unlikable person. If you're a person who grew up not lacking, but saw the people around you work, you know the importance of work. You have seen people reap the rewards of work and you'll more than likely be a person with a similar work ethic. You'll appreciate the fruits of your labor because you put in that work. You can reap the harvest because you know the amount of seed that you put into the ground. If you are a person who comes from a home where lack was normalized on a multitude of levels. If you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you didn't. The people around you were content with what was given to them. They never saw another way. They were okay with whatever was handed to them. They were content. They never sought out more. That's a contributing factor on how someone becomes content with another person's bare minimum. If you don't believe you're entitled to more, then it's not a surprise when you're entitled when you're content with a piece of man that belongs to somebody else or you're in the same profession for 20 years with zero growth and I'm not knocking anyone because it would be stupid for me to judge people who are in the same place as I've been but I'm saying that we either leave and strive for something the same or different we don't we can accept what is our normal or we learn we gain exposure and we know better so then we strive to do better in the same way that we use our money in those ways where we learn and try to do better, it's the same way we should be with our time because our time is essentially currency. Our time can be spent, it can be wasted, it can be lost, it can be stolen, it can be invested. The way we need to be mindful with how we spend our money, we should be mindful of how we're spending our time. Something I'm learning about my time and my resources, and it's been a hard lesson learned, is people will take advantage of you. <laughs> Strangers, friends, families will take from you over and over again when you're a giving person. And they'll start, they'll start, and it may seem like, okay, well, I want to help this person. But then they start to do it without you even giving it. By you giving, you unknowingly check that and roll for auto pay box. 
and then they withdraw on a schedule you don't even realize you set up the, they withdraw from you and they never deposit anything of value or worth into your life and they will take from you until you're left with an account in overdraft once you're empty and your balance is zero that doesn't stop the withdrawals that you set up and didn't even know it doesn't it doesn't stop the attempts to cash checks that you gave out all over the place without balancing or stopping to look at your account it doesn't stop the people on auto pay it doesn't stop the thoughts or energy on auto pay your lower zero balance is hit and then you're left with overdraft fees and who pays those fees not the people not the thoughts not the things that you allowed in you do you are left trying to replenish what is gone we have to give ourselves and allow ourselves just enough care to use our time with discretion. It's ours. We can recoup lost money. We can recoup lost assets somewhat easily. Time isn't a currency that we can restore on our own. Since we've been social distancing, I've spent a ridiculous amount of time online shopping, but I'm not always buying stuff. I spend mad time looking at stuff and adding it to my cart just in case I want to come back and buy it later. Sometimes it makes sense because I need to compare prices or check reviews or I'll add it to my cart so I don't forget. And then I usually forget <laughs> or I'll see it and I'll click the save for later button. And I'm not even going to admit how many items are in my save for later section on Amazon because it's ridiculous. But with our time, how many things have entered our life and we take it and we place it in our cart and we put it in there to save it for later and it's just there taking up space and because it's there when we come across it again we're giving it our time and we're giving it our energy how much doubt have you allowed to stay in your cart how many toxic people how many toxic thoughts a huge one that i am emptying out of my cart right now is stress during this quarantine i've had some health issues and I don't scare easy, but the things that were coming to light were scary for me. And I didn't realize that I was stressed. Someone I trust told me I was, but I still didn't completely acknowledge it. Sometimes I'm an external processor and I don't have a, re a revelation until I hear myself say things. So I was sharing with someone what was going on and I heard myself say, Maybe I've become used to a certain level of stress and that's why I don't feel it. And that was my Oprah aha moment when I have normalized stress to the point I didn't even realize it. I didn't even feel it. And my grandma used to tell me all the time, stress will kill you. And I arrived at a point where it literally almost did. Then last week, during one of my quiet times with God, he downloaded in my spirit the same way that some websites when you put items in your cart and you don't check out and you get back on the site and you get a reminder or you get an email like hey you left whatever in your cart so we go back to the source where that cart is so we can evaluate do we keep it in the cart do we remove it do we check out everything i have happening in my life right now all those health issues that popped up they weren't just they didn't come out of thin air they've been there but now I finally got the reminder I paid attention to. I have to reevaluate. I have to take every single item that is taking up space and throw it out. I have to free up space for all the good that's waiting for room to inhabit. And I hope you guys use this time to do the same, to toss out whatever garbage is taking up a necessary space, whether it be actual items, whether it's thoughts, whether it's people. Pay attention to the reminders and take heed to them. Because all we can do is try to do better. I just hope that we all can just use this time to get to that point where we can do better. So take care. Peace and blessings.